The envelope section of a synthesizer is used in the first instance to control the volume of notes, so how the note fades in and the volume that the note is sustained at and how it fades out. And also, the amplitude envelope can sometimes be routed to control other parts of the synthesizer so that perhaps the filter tracks the same slopes as the envelope. On the mini log, it has an amplitude envelope labelled AMP EG, which is short for Amplitude Envelope Generator. It also has another section called EG envelope generator which can be routed to the filter. The microbrute has a general purpose envelope which is used to create volume slopes for the notes and can also be routed to different parts of the synthesizer. If I play a sound on the mini log with similar settings to the microbrute we can track the attack, decay, sustain and release parts of the envelope on a graph. We can hear the sound and have a look at it on the screen. So what we can see is the attack phase is the initial slope, the decay phase is the second slope down to the sustain level. So attack and decay are both time, sustain is a volume level or an amplitude level. So attack will rise up to the maximum level, volume level, over the time that you set with the attack knob. The decay setting defines how long it takes to fall back to the sustain volume level. The note will be sustained at that volume for as long as the note is held, and then the sound will fade away over a time specified by the release control. So let's Watch that again. Here on the microbrute, if we turn the attack down, decay down, sustain up, and release down. Now, if we turn up the attack, we should get a slow slope up. So the sustain volume level, which should be sustained for as long as I hold the key, and then the sound should stop suddenly. If I turn the sustain down and the decay up, we will then get a slope from the attack section down to the sustain level and then the sound will stop suddenly. And if I add some release time, the sound will fade out more gradually after I release the key. If I play a sequence here at a slow rate, we can change the amplitude envelope and we can hear how it changes the sound.
This envelope can also be used to control other parts of the synthesizer. So for example I can direct the envelope to the cutoff. I can plug this from the envelope output into the filter cutoff input. Now as I play the sequence and adjust the envelope you'll hear the effect not only on the length of the notes but also on the cutoff. The Minilog has a similar feature. It has an envelope generator that can be directed specifically to the filter. So that could sound like this. So envelopes can be used not only to control the volume slopes of notes as they are played, but also to control other factors of the sound as the note is played. 